Now let's together sketch some FM and PM examples. Sketching FM and PM signals or angle modulated signals. The example state that sketch the FM and PM waveform or waves for the modulating message M of T shown in the diagram, shown in the figure. The constant KF and KP are given. I'm using the color code here, red for KF and green for KP. These constants are given in the question respectively. And the carrier frequency FC is 100 megahertz. So we would like to sketch the FM and PM signals. We know that for angle modulated signal, the amplitude is constant. All we need to know is what is the instantaneous frequency. So we'll sketch on the left, we'll start with the FM signal. So in the FM signal case, the instantaneous frequency is the carrier frequency plus KF times MP. If you divide by 2 pi to get things in hertz, we go to the second line. So this equation is something that we should know for FM. And to go from here to here, we divide by 2 pi, so this becomes instantaneous frequency in hertz. This is FC. And here we have KF divided by 2 pi times M of T. The carrier frequency is given as 100 hertz. KF is given as 2 by times 10 to the power 5, and we divide by 2 by to get things in hertz. Now, we can get the instantaneous frequency for any value of the message, but the extreme values will be helpful to sketch. So the minimum value for the message here is minus 1. This is a message. The minimum value is minus 1, and the maximum value is plus 1. So the maximum and the minimum instantaneous frequency well, we can get them if we substitute 2 by cancels from here and here, and we get 99.9 .9 megahertz and 100 megahertz in the second, uh, uh, 900.1 as a maximum frequency. Here's how things look. The minimum frequency is what you get here. Of course, the, the difference in frequency is not something to be visualized, but just we're going to sketch, and we can have an arrow here stating that the frequency uh, here at this point is this, and the frequency at the peak, the maximum is this value. So if somebody asks, what would be the frequency at this point? Since the message is going to be zero, it's going to be the carrier frequency, 100 megahertz. Okay? Wherever the message is zero, we get the carrier frequency. Now, if you want to sketch for the case of PM, we'll have similar thing, except, which is very important, the first equation will be different here because we'll use the instantaneous frequency for the case of PM, which is equal to omega C plus KB times M of T. We go divide by 2 by to go into hertz. And now we substitute. But when we substitute, we need the minimum and the maximum of the derivative. What is the derivative of this signal? What's the derivative of this signal? Something might be obvious, but we usually do mistakes when we do, when we differentiate. We have positive slope, negative slope. It's going to be a square wave. How much is this slope? The definition of the slope is delta y by delta x. So if you take two points here, delta y is 2, divide by delta x. How much is delta x? Don't be confused. This is not delta x in the same line. It's going to be 1 times 10 raised to the power minus 4. So take two points on the sketch, okay? And the slope is going to be 20,000 or minus 20,000. When it's going up, it's 20,000. Minus 20,000 when it's going down. So, in fact, we have only two possibilities, either 20,000 or minus 20,000. If you get the instantaneous frequency, it's going to be 99.9 .9 or 100.1 megahertz. Okay, in both cases, the amplitude is constant. Okay, all we need to know is how much, all we needed to know is how much is the frequency. Here, for the second case, here we have constant frequency, and constant frequency match with the message, and so on. So this example is not too difficult. Now, in the second example, it says we have changed the message. And this message is very special because when we try to differentiate, we'll get discontinuity. So we need to learn how to deal with this discontinuity. So the message, the question says, sketch the FM and PM waves for the digital modulated signal M of T shown in the figure. 
the constant kf and kb are given respectively and the clear frequency is 100 megahertz very similar question except that we have changed the message we'll start in the same way for the case of fm okay so for the case of fm because the frequency depends on the message we got 100 the carrier frequency here then these are values given in the question the minimum and the maximum of the message is now one or minus one and we got what we want we can easily sketch the signal and this signal by the way is called fsk we'll see more details about fsk uh, when we come to the digital part it's called frequency shift keying it's fm signal but when it's digital, we call it frequency shift keying because we are shifting from one value to another. If your message is discrete, then there will be shifting in frequency from one value to another. Now, the problem occurs when we want to sketch the phase modulated signal. If you want to sketch the phase modulated signal, you need to take the derivative. And now, if you want to sketch the derivative, you will not be able to substitute because you will not be able to find the frequency at the discontinuity. So direct method for sketching PM from the derivative works fine if there is no or there are no impulses in the derivative or there is no discontinuity in M. But what should we do now? It's not going to be a big problem because we're going to have the solution. So here is the derivative. The slope is always going to be zero, except at this continuity. It's going to be arrow going up because we are changing from low to up. With the magnitude of this arrow equal to two, the area under the, the delta, the area here is equal to minus two. Why minus two? Because we are having here this range, plus two. This is not, the delta itself goes to infinity, but the area equal to the discontinuity, amount of discontinuity. So now for PM, we cannot use the same method we have done before. We need to go back to the original definition because if you use this, the original method, the instantaneous frequency is proportional to the derivative. So what's the meaning of going to infinity? I will not be able to get a, a clear meaning. So instead of substituting infinity, we, we can go back direct to the phase, which means I go back to the original definition. I will not think about the frequency. I am writing down the expression for the phase modulated signal. Okay, now KP is given the question, and now I will start substituting the message. The reason I am going to this definition because I want to avoid m dot. I want to avoid the derivative. Now substitute for the message. The message is either plus one or minus one. The message is the signal shown here. It's either plus one or minus one. Plus one or minus one. So if you substitute plus one, you get a shift of by over uh, 2. If you put it minus 1, you get minus y over 2, which makes the cosine into sine. A cosine shifted by minus y over 2 give you a sine. So we have, we're sketching one of two signals, either a sine or minus a sine. Either if we have 1, we have minus sine, we start from going down. If it is, um, if it is, uh, Minus one here, I get positive sign. So I'm starting by going up. So the information, in fact, here is in the phase, not in the amplitude nor in the frequency. So this is a clear distinction between phase and, and frequency modulated signals. Because before we were not able to distinguish phase from frequency. But when it's becoming a digital signal, this is called phase shift keying. Okay? Because the phase, this is called PSK, phase shift keying. And all of these are going to be detailed when we come to the digital section at the end of the course. Okay, so this is again, uh, we could not sketch by looking at the frequency because of the discontinuity, but we could, we could sketch by going back to the definition of phase. If there was no discontinuity, I did not do this thing. So please practice these examples. You can hold the video and repeat looking at, uh, at, the, at the answers. Thank you. If you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comment. In digital system, this is called phase shift keying. We just mentioned this, and it's by uh, over 2 times 2. The amount of shift in our case is, uh, because the discontinuity is 2, the amount of change in the phase was 1 full by. 
Okay, so as I said, more about PSKNFSK will be detailed later on. Thank you for being, for being good listeners. Two, by the way, two additional examples are provided in the website and Blackboard.